Hey guys, Chase Briscoe here at Sewer Haas Racing. Have a special guest coming today, Richie Wierenski from the PGA Tour, and we're gonna give him an inside look at what goes on here at the shop. What's up, man? Chase, nice hey, to man. meet you. Richie, yeah. yeah. Nice Thanks to meet you. Out. Yeah, yeah. This is Stuart Haas. This is awesome. And I've been in the cars you know, as long as I can remember. I think the first time I got to go on a track, my dad took me to the, uh, that BMW racing school or whatever for like, it was like three days. And we just got to go and like learn and drive cars around the track and do like the, uh, the wet skid pad thing. And um, after that, I was kind of pretty addicted, you know what I mean? But it's kind of the same reason he got, got into golf and enjoys doing that. It's kind of, it just gets me away from, you know, golf completely and it's kind of I'm able to just relax and not think about golf at all. I think that he can expect to see a lot more than you realize that goes into it. So we got four cars, 300 plus employees to get four cars on the racetrack. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, but I think you'll be just amazed at how much goes into it. Yeah. Hey, you want to sit in that thing? That is, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, go right leg first. Just like that, right? Yeah, and then left leg, yeah. and then slide your legs like down, and then like twist in, it's kind of hard. It's a bad Oh yeah. They're not comfortable. Oh man, dude. No yeah, You gotta way. put the wheel on though. <laughs> man, that's pretty cool. It's super hot these days, so it'll be like, hit that helmet. See that thing that says helmet? Yeah. Hit that. That's all you got. Oh, yeah. That just goes to your helmet. That's it. It's like miserable. Plug those in. Here and there. Then he takes these shoulder belts and he pulls these tight right here. Yep. Yank on those and that pulls them tight. And then he's got a Hans device that goes up in between him on his shoulders there and then he pulls those tight. And the Hans is what keeps his head from extending forward and too far in a wreck. Yeah. Dang. The hard part's getting out. Getting out. That's hard. Yeah, and I'm tiny. <laughs> yeah. And, but usually Monday, what we'll do is we'll come in, a handful of us work in the shop. We we'll usually do a workout, and then we'll go straight to film. And then we'll go over the, the next week and kind of like what we're looking forward to, fit box size. <laughs> That was a slow one. <laughs> I mean, he was probably coming in 20 something miles an hour. Like Daytona Tile Day, it's 60 miles an hour. And they can't jump until it's one box away. That's when they, okay. Yeah, you're yeah. allowed to jump when you're one box okay. away. Man. First time I've ever seen it done. You watch like every guy, or you kind of focus in on like one guy at a time? I can kind of see the I general. I mean, you can just so see I, it all. I can see when the car stops, I can see, I can know pretty much why that stop was slower than what it should have been. Yeah. Um, just from catching a glimpse of this guy, being out of position or that guy, and then when we run through the video, we got all the different camera angles. Yeah, like watch the rear guy, like back it up. Like if you're watching the jack man, left rear, he don't even watch to make sure it's tight. He's just going by the noise, so like yeah. hangs, turns, he's pulling it, and then I'm going. That's like my cue. As soon as that thing drops, I go. You go, yeah. Like I bet you can't even jack it up. Uh, I can't even think about it. I can't even budget. Like it's crazy. <laughs> and like they make it one time. Just boom. Finish it all the way down. Come on. Come on. Dang. Just turn to the left. Turn to the left. Just talking to, to everybody on the team. And it's just crazy, you know what I mean, to me. I mean, they all got their job, you know what I mean, and just how good they are at it. The jack, I mean, makes that look effortless. <laughs> all right, so this is the auditorium. We have two iRacing simulators. Uh, a lot of the team guys come over here during their lunch break, kind of mess around. But anyways, yeah, we got two of them, so we can both race each other and see them go faster. <laughs> I was impressed, like truthfully impressed. <laughs> a lot of the time people get on there and they literally can't even get out of the pits. So I think he was only like six or seven tenths off what I was turning. So 
I was, I was, I was honestly impressed. Oh, I'm gonna wreck you. I hope I don't do that this weekend. You were actually like up to speed. A lot of people like literally can't even pull out pits. You know, if I if I spend some time at it, I feel That's like that's a I problem. Could probably, you gotta spend. Some, it's like golf, yeah, probably. Like the more that. time you spend, like the better you're gonna be. Uh huh. A hundred percent. Hey man, well thanks for having me yeah. out here. But before I leave, um, got to challenge you to a couple goals. All right, times. let's do it. I already got a built-in excuse if I lose, so <laughs> ready for this? <laughs> let's go. Best of three. Um, closest to the tire. All righty. I always, and whenever you're hitting into anything, it always looks so good. I know, dude. I thought for, for sure it was going like... <laughs> So, I mean, it's in the air. It's, it's just far. a little too hard. Golf is, is hard, especially when you pick something like chipping. You know, very, very hard. Um, but I was impressed. I mean, the whole experience was just, I mean, it, it definitely exceeded my expectations. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, you know what I mean? I kind of knew what I was getting into, but uh, it was really, really cool just to see everything that goes into it. Um, you know, just gives me a greater appreciation for it. I've always felt like golf is probably the hardest sport out of every sport to master. I mean, like you look at Tiger Woods, right? Like grace of all time like he still makes really bad shots like even the best golfer in the world still makes bad shots where like you don't see Michael Jordan really ever airball right mm -hmm. so I feel like golf is such a hard game like it's impossible to, to master it like, I've went to a couple PGA events and getting to see them up close just how good they are and when I mean, you think about how elite they are in the sense of like compared to the everyday person it's pretty wild like seeing him here today even like just adjust, like he hits one shot and knows right away. Same with him coming to our world where he doesn't realize how much goes into behind the scenes. But in the race car, like if I make a bad corner, I know how the next corner, what I need to do different. So there's a lot of similarities. I've always felt like there's a lot between golf and racing. And it's, it's pretty wild to see, you know, golf up close to and a professional like yourself, just how much goes into it. All right, we got a little swag back oh. for you. You and a little teddy bear for her. Look at this. Yeah. No way. I don't, well, know, I, I don't know what all they put in there, but oh, man. a little bit of everything. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. No, oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. You see that, Lila? See the bear? <gasps> <laughs> yeah. She's a new favorite race car driver. 